please go home? You can. I'm not. As we've established, Wood's very scary, me very scared. Then I guess you're here until the sun comes up. So I'll be able to see what kills me? Pass. <laughs> can you at least go back to complaining about boys so I can get some sleep? Dad's in the hospital. We gotta go. Is he okay? I don't know. Come on. Hey, good news. Your dad's doing okay and should be home in a couple of days. Thank God. Thank modern medicine. Do you think I gave dad a heart attack? What? No. This isn't your fault. I was really mean to him. I was mean to him as well. What I did was so much worse. That is true. When we're receiving our punishment, they should really let you have it. When I was feeling anxious, it was rules and structure that I found soothing. Not to mention the relaxing melody of the Star Trek theme song. Stop that. As soon as I'm soothed. With my father home from the hospital, my mother had instructed us to let him relax. And what could be more relaxing than a spirited discussion of societal rules and morality? Dad. What's up? I'm struggling with an ethical crisis. Be a kid, quit struggling. Missy and I broke a lot of rules the other night, and we received no punishment. <sighs> Buddy, it's been a rough week. We're just glad you're both safe. But I did something wrong, and I got away with it. That's not OK. Buddy? Socrates maintained that the man who lies to himself has an enemy living within. He's not even a person. He's just a chaos of selfish desires wrapped in an animal hide. Hey, Pastor Jeff is here. You up for some company? You bet. You gotta talk to the pastor. Get. Everything okay? I'm having a moral quandary, and I could really use your help. Ugh, moral quandaries. I hate those. Shoot. You're the least moral person I know. How do you live with yourself? Okay, fine. What do you want? I'm confused as to how to go about my business after misbehaving and not being punished. And where do I come in? You tell lies, you gamble, you have quite the potty mouth, and yet you never seem to pay a price for any of it. Are you leaving because you have a man in there? No! Hmm. Although she would lie about it, so who knows? So what brings you here? Well, I did something wrong, and yet I've received no punishment. Plato asked the question, if you could wear a ring that made you invisible, what would prevent you from committing the most horrendous crimes? Sounds an awful lot like the Ring of Sauron and the Lord of the Rings. Perhaps you should read Plato and I should read the Lord of the Rings. You should really start with the Hobbit. What's a Hobbit? It's a race of short humanoids who live in burrows and have hairy feet. Oh, I've been called that. In the face of a chaotic world, we all seek comfort in different ways. Some turn to a higher power. Some take refuge in fictitious worlds. My congratulations, Steph. Dazzling display of logic. You didn't think I had it in me, did you, Spock? No, sir. So great.